What is going on, guys? We got some breaking news, expected news, but breaking news. So enjoy the video. Uh, New York Jets have some changes coming their way. Okay, so it's really no surprise. The New York Jets are benching Zach Wilson. Tim Boyle is going to start at quarterback Thursday night. Is it Thursday? Friday? Against the Miami Dolphins. Whenever they play next, that is when Tim Boyle is starting. Let's see. Uh, Miami Dolphins. They are playing. Oh, Friday the 24th. So um, they're playing Friday on Black Friday at 2 p.m., against the New York Jets. It's going to be in uh, at the New York Jets Stadium, MetLife. So, kind of crazy, though. It should have been done a while back. Zach Wilson shouldn't have been the starter. Yeah, he may have had, like, one decently successful game, if that's what you even want to call it. Um, that was weeks ago. Since then, he's just been nothing. Been nothing. They went 42 offensive drives without a touchdown. They finally scored a touchdown. Uh, against Buffalo and then missed the extra points or no, no, no. They went for two and didn't convert successfully. So I, I, I just don't know what else. Like Robert Sala has dug a hole for himself and it's beyond time to have moved on from Zach Wilson. This should have been done already. It should have been, and it wasn't. So oh, golly, it, it is hard to believe, man. It's let's, let's go to Zach Wilson's, uh, Pro football reference for the I think he's passed for five or six touchdowns this season. He took over in game one uh, for an injured Aaron Rodgers. Golly, this is so bad. Uh, so far this season, at the age of 24, he's three and six as the starter. 56.6 completion percentage. Oh, oh, no, no, no. That's career. That's career. My bad. 59.2 completion percentage. Uh, six touchdowns, seven interceptions. How many fumbles has the dude lost either, though? He has a 30.8 QBR for the season. 30.8 QBR this season. The sad thing is, that's not even his lowest of the career. His lowest QBR is 28.2 his rookie season. It's getting ridiculous. This should have been done. I, he shouldn't even have been the backup. Um, they should have signed a veteran or traded for a veteran at the trade deadline. And that is just facts. Uh, there was tons of veteran options available. They could have even brought back Joe Flacco. Just somebody, dude. Somebody. Just to manage the game. Just to manage the game. Reach out to some of these. Like at this point, reach out to a retired quarterback. Reach out to Matt Ryan. Reach out to Phillip Rivers. Do something. Anything would have been better than Zach Wilson. And Robert Sala hung on to that as long as he possibly could. And it has just not paid off at all. Robert Sala has dug a hole for himself by trying this loyalty thing. Hanging on to wanting to play Zach Wilson. Um... And that's not even, that's not even, Zach Wilson was just part of the issue. Nathaniel Hackett has been a train wreck of an offensive play caller. Just an absolute train wreck. Um, Aaron Rodgers made Nathaniel Hackett look like a success in Green Bay. But even with Aaron Rodgers playing right now, if Aaron Rodgers was playing, the, the New York Jets, I don't think, would have maybe one or two more wins. Um, I love Aaron Rodgers. I think he's the most talented quarterback of all time. But the issue right now is the coaching, and, and they brought in all of these veterans on offense, Alan Lazard, Randall Cobb, who has been inactive for like more than half the games. Um, I, I love Randall Cobb, too. I think he was a great pickup. But you can't rely on, on, on these veterans. I just, it's just so much, so many issues, so many things wrong right now with the New York Jets. Benching Zach Wilson was just a start. They need a complete revamp if they want a chance at all this season. You guys tell me your thoughts on this situation down below. Um, like I said, Nathaniel Hackett is the other half of the problem here. Uh, Robert Sala, I think he's a great coach, and they have a great defense, but they're just wasting so much talent by waiting this long to bench Zach Wilson. You guys tell me your thoughts down below. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit subscribe and like the video.